The United States Air Force Band of Mid-America represents the professionalism and excellence found every day throughout the United States Air Force. They're presenting a series of patriotic concerts in the St. Louis area to honor our nation's fallen and those who serve our country. Major Justin Lewis joins us to share when and where the band will be playing. First, thank you for your service. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. We are glad to have you here, and you guys have the band up and ready to go. How many members are in this band? There's going to be 45 folks on stage, brilliant musicians on a wide variety of genres. People are going to love it. 45 members in this band. That's a big band. Who, yeah. makes, who makes up the band? Oh, man, these are airmen from all over the Air Force, and they come together, but they're so talented, and we're really excited to do a little bit of something for everybody. How long have you been playing in the band? Oh, man, so I've been the conductor for 12 years now. Wow. Uh, but they move us around quite a bit, uh, but it's been four years here in the St. Louis area, and I'm just so excited to be here. So where are the concerts happening? Uh, we're at the Skip Vera Center on the 21st, mm -hmm. 7 p.m., and uh, the Purser Center. We're going uh, to Logan University for the first time this year. Uh, that's on the 22nd at 7. The other two performances are already sold out. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Where do uh, people go to find out more about these? Go to afbandtix.com. That's afbandtix.com. The second best part about this band is concert series, other than obviously you guys recognizing the Fallen. How much does it cost? It's free. Ooh, with a capital F, we'll take it. Love free. it. Free. Yeah, so you got three shows coming up. What's it mean to you as a serviceman to be able to perform and see the people come support the United States Air Force Band of Mid-America? Yeah, right here in the St. Louis area, there have been hundreds of, of veterans who have fallen in, in the line of duty and, and we are so grateful to them and I think this is an opportunity for the community to step forward and say thank you as well. When you see the people who do come out and show the support, you feel pretty good? Like you've it, done it, the right decision? You know, when you meet the folks after the event mm -hmm. and they get in contact with some of the leaders from Scott Air Force Base and, and they get to connect with people, it goes a long way I think to help them with a healing process and I think that's something that's very magical if you will about the music itself. When you guys decide who's going to be playing in the band, do you guys have a tryout? Yeah, or? there's auditions, okay. kind of American Idol style I guess you'd say. <laughs> okay. We actually do it behind a screen just like uh, like an orchestra would. Like an orchestra, that's great. How long have you been the conductor for 12 years? Yeah. What have been some of your more memorable, uh, how should I put this, positions in the band? So before I came to the St. Louis area, I was at a band over in Germany. Okay. And that band would go with the U.S. embassies all over 100 and some plus nations um, trying to basically build relationships of trust for the United States of America. And that was a really neat experience to, to make friends with folks in so many different cultures. And our last question as we wrap up, we appreciate you being here. For those who haven't been to something like this, what can they expect? Uh, come and be ready to hear some little bit of pop, a little bit of jazz, a little bit of like classical stuff, a little bit of Broadway, uh, something for everybody, and then we'll definitely honor those troops. Awesome. Thank you very much, Justin. Thanks so much. We I appreciate, appreciate you. you. We're going to have this full interview posted on our website in just a little bit, foxunow.com right there. There's all the events. Memorial Day Band Concerts, USAF Band of Mid-America. They got three shows for you, and they're free. We're back for more Foxy News in the morning after the break.